It's my feel good breakfast show. A uh, very good morning if you've just tuned in. Where have you been? But don't worry, your timing is perfect. Miss South Africa 2014 and, of course, Miss World 2014. Rolene Strauss is continuing her new path to global domination as she recently released her first ever book. She must be so proud. Reflections from the Heart, a 365-day devotional. Readers will be able to share in the life lessons that she has learned through her incredible journey as, I think, both a beauty queen and an ambassador for our country, a brilliant ambassador at that, and an ambassador for all women, I think, especially. But please give her a very warm espresso welcome. Roly Strauss is in the house. <laughs> Roline, uh, thank you so much for coming through. Um, just incidentally, she wasn't dancing, like Tubbsy was, was <laughs> no. saying. Um, she's a fantastic dancer. Um, but Rolene, congratulations. Um, thank you so much for, for coming through, making the trip out here to, to chat about what must be a very special thing to have to, to get to that point, to be able to say, OK, I'm done. I've, I've completed my, my baby can go out into the, the world. But this isn't your, your first outing at trying to summate what it is that you feel inside, what it means to you to, to live the existence that you do secretly. Secrets to My Growth was the first. What was the, the, the prompt to move on to reflections from the heart, actually put pen to paper and create the book yes. this time? I've always known that if I have the opportunity, I would love to write a book. And this is not a, a regular book where I only share my own story because I really know that none of us are the same. None of our lives are the same. But as women, we face similar challenges. You know, I went through a stage in my life where I really had an identity crisis and no one knew it, where I have to be this perfect perfect Miss World and you end up losing yourself in that and a lot of women end up losing, losing themselves in the quest to be perfect and they end up losing themselves their, their self-confidence so I know that that is a struggle that most of us face I'm sharing a bit about that in the book but I think the most important part of the book is that there are actually pages blank pages where you can do your own reflective I love work yeah. um, and where you can find your own answers and I'm really grateful to have the opportunity to share this with women and I really hope that it can mean something to someone. Um, I have no doubt that people will make a very real connection. That's where the real joy of it will be on that, that journey of self-exploration. But in order to get to this, you've got to go yeah. on a journey of self-exploration. <laughs> How difficult was it to get to a point where you could say, OK, I'm ready? It, it was really challenging, you know, a lot of the stories in the book are very personal stories and it was challenging to go back to those and revisit those emotions and, and those feelings that I went through and to realize that Oh my goodness, I'm really being vulnerable here. I'm literally going to put this out there, hope that it will mean something to someone. And it was difficult. I wrote the book in four months. I did kind of build up a lot of diary entries and things like that during my year as Miss World. So it was basically putting everything together. But like you've mentioned, I gave myself a, a, a time stamp and I said, OK, this is the due date. It has to be done the by this date. date. I love that. Yes. <laughs> I'm pregnant at the moment, so, so it's, oh, it's in my, so in my cool, background. Man. Um, um, yes, so, um, yeah, but it was difficult to not go back and change everything all of the time. Um, congratulations. Thank you. Way. Thank you. I almost feel like you need to pick it up and write a new devotional. <laughs> um, now, it's, it, it must be a, a, a really interesting process to go through that where you, you are you're kind of seeing your life mm. laid bare. You've had such incredible moments. How cool is it being able to go back and, and in part, relive mm. some of those moments? I know some darker moments when people think that your life is just all kind of yeah. um, gilded in gold. Um, being a Miss World, but I've spent a lot of time around, I've been lucky enough to host a lot of Miss South Africans and spent a lot of time around incredible women like yourself, and it's hard work. How cool is it going back to relive some of those moments? Yes, no, it's amazing, and, and like you've mentioned, it's a, it's a daily devotional, and it's, it's, it's made out of 52 weeks and 52 topics that have been relevant in my life, so it's literally from social media to finances to challenges to failures to friendship and love, so there's literally so many aspects of my life that I share, and I know that, that it'll be relevant in, in other women's lives and women across, you know, different age groups, whether you're a student, whether you are a teenager or a mother or, or whatever you are, I think it, it will be helpful. The, the idea of having the devotional expresses a need, clearly, an intuitive need to want to empower other women. Why is that still such an important thing for you to be doing now? 
Well, I've, it's because I've been so empowered by women in my life. You know, um, one of those women are Joanne Strauss. And I met her when, I was, wait, when I was eight Joe. years old. I literally met her when I was eight years old and I see the difference that it can make. And a lot of people ask me, you know, what did you feel like when they put the crown on your head? And it's such a difficult question to answer because in the same sense that you feel such pride and, and, and such excitement, it's such a responsibility it's because you have so many eyes on you and you really have the opportunity to make a difference and to be a role model. And yes, it's, 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 yeah, it's the best of both worlds um, and it's a choice that you made, obviously. And yes, I'm happy and grateful for all of the opportunities I get to make a difference. Uh, looking at the light that comes out of your eyes when you talk about it, I, I have a feeling the first of many of these mm -hmm. kinds of, um, of releases that you're going to be giving to the world. Um, and I love the fact that you've released in English and Afrikaans as well, um, which I think leads into uh, some very good news for you guys at home. If you'd like to stand a chance of winning one of four copies of the brand new box then listen up because we have got um, an opportunity right now you can SMS the keyword win followed by either Afrikaans or English to indicate which language you would like to receive the book in as well as your name and surname SMS that to double three seven two eight you'll be entered into our randomized draw to win one of four copies of this beautiful book the competition is going to close at midday today so get on it right now it's going to cost you just one rand fifty no free SMSs apply and you can find all the terms and conditions on Express Ocean show.com. Um, Raleen, stick around. I know you, you're also up for a very special day, an empowering day in the Pink Polo event. You're going to be playing a very important role there. But um, congratulations once again on your new release and everything that's going um, on in your life at the moment. I think uh, another uh, wonderful phase of your own journey and so cool that people get to experience what that journey has been like for you as well. Um, can I get another round of applause for the gorgeous and far too approachable Raleen Strauss on your Feel Good Breakfast show time to delve back into those news headlines.